wanted to talk real quick um, in between me doing projects and my other uh, DIY tutorials. This is something that I researched after I did a Pinterest project and I kind of just want to share some information that I learned after doing this project. Even during, I kind of had like a bad feeling because in college I learned about uh, cathode and anodes and things like that, magnetic fields. So <clears throat> that that's just, you know, the, the preface to this whole conversation here. Um, as you know, if you know, there, if you have a Pinterest app, that is, there's a tutorial, not tutorial, but there's just, there's pictures of things that you can do with old TV cabinet tail. I'll get out of the way so you can see. <clears throat> um, I got this, as you should know me by now, I got this for free on Craigslist. <clears throat> this has been since gutted and everything um, thrown away that was inside. But, um, and even my husband was telling me recently, he's like, you're stupid, well, I, you shouldn't even be doing this, it's dangerous. And I was, and while, I mean, I was so excited about this project, you don't think about the dangers of this. All you see is like the end result, which is a really cute dog bed, and you're like, oh, hell yeah, I wanna do that. But first and foremost, let me tell you, just on the labor alone on doing this, this is a fucking bitch, okay? I will tell you why. <clears throat> so one thing, and this is, I think, this is something that we all forget now that we live in present time. But a long time ago, when people used TVs like these, there was something called a CRT, it was a, a cathode ray tube, which is the, the big bulb here that everyone watches their TV on. It is freaking heavy. Moving this TV, it took three people because it, that bulb, that cathode thing in there, the tube, it is just, it, it's so heavy, first of all. We got a little hurt moving this. Uh, I had my toe crushed, my brother hit his shin, and my mother almost had this thing fall on her while she was holding up the dolly, trying to support it while me and my brother took it out of my van. But that's besides the point. <clears throat> it's freaking heavy. And then it took me about, I'd say, three to four hours in total to completely gut it to where it's just uh, an empty box, TV box. Um, it, I, I started off, there, I mean, there's tons of bolts. And, and screws in this thing, tons of them. Took me forever. Um, you need to have really long socket wrenches to get into the little nooks and crannies. At some point, there's like a little space about this much, if you can see, about that much, where there's a bolt. And of course, your hand or a normal socket wrench won't get in there. And I use a socket wrench because it doesn't use regular screws, so you have to have a socket wrench. And <clears throat> finally, I took all that off. There was a protective covering over the tube. I had to screw that off first before I could take out the tube. Um, tons of wires that I had to cut and um, separate that 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 ran from this the the dials and the speaker that came to the tube. I had to cut that off. And of course, while I'm doing this, now I kind of like I said, I was getting a bad feeling about this as I was doing it because I could see the warning labels on the tube. You know. Uh, let you know it would say stuff like please have your authorized repairman do this of blah 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 dangers of x-ray um electric shock things like that and one thing that i do kind of sort of remember that i after i was done with this i realized that i this is this is something that people see and it's so cute but you don't understand the dangers just like I did and I kind of ignored the dangers I'm not gonna lie to you I did because I knew I knew better I, I went to college and we did this in chemistry and you know testing and things like that it, like, I knew better but my, my, my knowledge is kind of hazy because I haven't been in college for like 60 years so I mean <clears throat> once I was done and it got gutted I mean it's gorgeous now I, I, I can't I won't lie but if you're gonna take on this project let me tell you what I learned after researching this when I was done with this project. And so that way you know that this is not something that you can just do, oh, this is gonna be a great project, so much fun. No, it is blood, sweat, and tears trying to do this. 
plus you put yourself in danger i oh my god thank you i was so lucky i don't know when this tv was last plugged in or working or maybe it worked but the power supply was broken but i cut all the wires with wire cutters luckily the wire cutters all had the rubber coating on it so hopefully i wouldn't have gotten too badly electrocuted but all crts all cathode ray tubes like these old tvs old um computer monitors that do the, that have the same technology <clears throat> they all hold a charge even when it's not plugged in it, it retains a charge months maybe even a few years depending it could be huge life-threatening or it could be just like a little shock to you thankfully i didn't um encounter any of these these problems i just when they're all willy-nilly i was just cutting wires like an idiot um but if you do cut the main power supply, you do need to, and I was re researching this, and I'll list some links below that I found from um, an instructable on how to take apart a TV uh, properly. And this person talks about that you need to ground the power supply before cutting it off and removing it. In this particular TV, it didn't have a, the, the suction cup for the power supply to the tube, but um, in, in some of them they do, I was, I was looking online. So they can retain a charge. You cut it wrong if you use the wrong tools that thing can pop on you and you can be seriously seriously injured even if it's an old tv i mean you if you don't know the history of the tv that you're about to take apart i would be very careful in doing this in fact i would have probably a tv repairman guide you through this or you get someone to do it for you you know uh, i mean i'm not going to be responsible if after someone watches this and they think they know everything and they go and do this and it pops in their face and they're blinded for life or something so i mean don't do this 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 pinterest problem project makes it look easy like it's going to be awesome but it, it's it's actually a very dangerous uh pinterest thing and i i would wish now that i know this that they would just remove it because somebody's going to go in there and and even at first, I was gonna do like a barbarian. I was gonna be like, ah, fuck it, I have a sledgehammer, I'm gonna break it. But then my common sense kicked in and I was like, mm, you know, old shit was made with lead and you know, phosphorus. I'm like, oh, I'm going to take it apart properly. Uh, because I'm not, first and foremost, first, I knew that it might be made of lead and second of all, I wasn't about to clean that shit up. So, <clears throat> I did it right. Now for someone who wants to go in there and think, oh, I'll just have my son smash it, get some aggression out, It'll be, it'll be great. No, please don't do that. The, 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 the cathode tube that, that reside, that, that's here in the middle, that's made of uh, leaded glass. I said lead, leaded glass, and that's to block out any x-ray emissions, most x-ray emissions from the TV because um, there is like a little x-ray magnetic action going on in there for the picture to come out on the screen. That's how, how it works, among other things. But um, that's just some of it. <clears throat> But yeah, so you definitely don't want to smash that. Um, as we all know, lead's dangerous. It's a poison. So uh, please remove the tube properly once it's been grounded and you're pretty sure that you're not going to get electrocuted. Um, if you have um, an ohmmeter, I would look up a tutorial how to use an ohmmeter properly. You ground the black, you put the red where the, the, the wire is, where it's touching the thing. If you see any kind of charge, uh, I would look i mean i'm not too sure at that point but you can look at the charges and see what is dangerous and what might just give you a little tickle i don't know again i'm not an expert but i'm just saying these things because again i will repeat this pinterest pro project is not safe and uh, you know i'm very lucky that i wasn't electrocuted or hurt doing this because at one point i did break uh, by accident the back of the the tube and it's 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 shaped you know the front is shaped like that like like a big square and then it 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 comes out like like a, like an oil can i guess you could say it has like an oil can thing and it has this long tube in the back and i accidentally broke off the back because it, there was like this weird <coughs> coil thing that covered it and i was just trying to remove it but i didn't know that that was also on top of the the, the like i guess the the long part of the tube so I accidentally broke that and I was like oh shit and um, I mean yeah you can expose yourself if you cut yourself on the glass you could expose yourself to poisons at what levels I don't know but you know the less lead the better you know what I mean um, so yeah I just I, I just realized now that this this Pinterest project is it, it's it, it's gonna 
go beyond your 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 knowledge and it and it could definitely hurt you so if you're gonna do this project I would really really beg you to research um, cathode ray tubes with CRTs which is which is what that is um, grounding removing charges or discharging well I should say um, you know call up or maybe you know call up or just walk into a TV repair shop and ask how you can do that without getting hurt also try and find out the history of your your TV find out when the last time it worked uh, when you know when if, if it was working if it was outside um, another thing when you do get it out in I think the early 2000s I was reading the um, EPA now made it illegal for people to just throw these things out in the dumpsters because of the amount of lead and phosphorus in the glass and materials to make this you have to take it to an approved recycling center so that way they can uh, recycle it. And I was reading, um, if, if it's in good shape, they can uh, grind down the glass and they can use it for recycling and like asphalt and things like that. But uh, it is a fee. There is a fee to dispose of it properly. And you know, these are just things that they don't, they don't tell you on Pinterest. Obviously Pinterest is just a picture website and you click on the link but most of the time it, it takes you to these blogs and they don't mention anything about the fine print about the dangers of this project they just tell you how to do it they don't even really tell you how to do it they just say take the shit out but they don't tell you how hard it is to take this damn thing out and how dangerous it is this is not a project for kids children um, you know <clears throat> if I were to do this all over again I would have gotten my own meter I would have tested the the cables because I, I do have some knowledge on how to do that I would have at least checked to see if there was a, a charge I mean oh my god I, I'm I feel so lucky I didn't get hurt doing this at all um, again you know make sure you call your recycling centers and find out where you can dispose of this thing uh, it's just it is just so crazy guys I, I I really and truly hope that someone finds this video and passes it along to like their sister or somebody like me who just fell in love with this idea but didn't really understand the I guess the science and technology of what a CRT is and the dangers of it so again um, I mean I'm already done I'm gonna go ahead and finish it and make a dog bed because that's what I set out to do and I and I did it it was just a really hard it was really hard to do um, and again it's just very dangerous so so please let someone know if you come across a Pinterest picture, which I'll have pictures of stuff during this video so you can see kind of what what I'm talking about as far as the parts on the inside. But you know, kind of just let them know that you saw a video and this shit's fucking dangerous. So please, let someone know this is not an easy project and it's not safe for most people. So um, hopefully I don't die soon. I don't think I inhaled anything. I was. I tried to be as careful as I could because I did in the back of my mind understand what the hell I was doing but I'm just such an airhead I was just more concerned about the project than my <clears throat> than the safety of my health so that's all I wanted to say thanks for watching uh, pass along the good word all right thanks bye